Um, so when I was in high school, people would ask me sometimes if I was bisexual, and I would say, no, I'm not bisexual. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, and then when I got to college, it was like, I met someone um, actually the day before college started, the very the, the day before, and I found I found him attractive, um, but I didn't know like what pronouns to use, and I'd never met anyone trans before, um, so it was it was strange to me that I found them attractive, and I didn't even have a word for it. Um, so I still had not really come out to myself as even bisexual. I was just like I'm straight, um, and then later on, someone told me that um, I had to understand that the gender identity was a really fluid thing and it was a spectrum, not just binary, and that um, people who like trans people <laughs> are referred to as pansexual. So, um, so I was like, okay, all right, I'm pansexual. Um, and I didn't think I really need to tell anybody until the person that I met, um, we got kind of involved and I thought it would be good for my parents to know just in case I decided to bring him home at some point. And um, when I told my mom, she was like, okay, that's cool, whatever. And um, she didn't really say much about it. She was just like, let your dad know. So I went and told my dad and the first thing he said was, yeah, right. <laughs> and the second thing he said was, no, you're not. So um, we had to work through that, <laughs> and we have been working on it. Uh, I do know that he loves me, which is great, um, and it's just something that he never really thought about. I don't think he realized that gender was a spectrum, so he probably is getting used to it like I am, um, and the fact that pansexual is a thing, like I didn't know it was a thing, <laughs> and that I was it, so um, yeah, I guess that's how I came out at the end. <laughs>